Today we are going to be discussing the important topic of prison reform. I want to thank Attorney General Sessions, Governor Bevin of Kentucky, Governor Brownback of Kansas, and other prison reform experts who are here. We have the best in the country. We'll be discussing a number of opportunities to improve our prison system, to better promote public safety, and to help former prisoners re-enter society as productive citizens. Very important, very big topic. It's become a very big topic, especially, I think, over the last 12 months or so. We've been focused on it very, very strongly. We support our law enforcement partners. And we're working to reduce crime and put dangerous offenders behind bars. At the same time, we want to ensure that those who enter the justice system are able to contribute to their communities after they leave prison, which is one of many very difficult subjects we are discussing having to do with our great country. The vast majority of incarcerated individuals will be released at some point and often struggle to become self-sufficient once they exit the correctional system. We have a great interest in helping them turn their lives around, get a second chance, and make our community safe. Many prisoners end up returning to crime, and they end up returning to prison. Two-thirds of the 650,000 people released from prison each year are arrested again within three years. We can help break this vicious cycle through job training very important job training, mentoring, and drug addiction treatment. And you know how we're focused on drugs pouring into our country and drug addiction. It's a big problem, even as we speak of this subject. We'll be very tough on crime, but we will provide a ladder of opportunity for the future. The governors with us today have pioneered reforms. They've been very, very successful, and we appreciate you being here very much. That can inspire change. Kansas improved its juvenile justice system to help make sure young offenders do not become repeat offenders. Kentucky is providing job training to inmates and helping them to obtain professional licenses upon release. And it's been very successful. It's been a great governor, I will tell you that, my friend. My administration is committed to helping former inmates become productive, law-abiding members of society. And I want to thank you all for being with us, and thank you for the discussion.